Hello and welcome to the library. This is Fisher Library. It's a home away from home for many students studying at the University of Sydney. I'm going to show you around and introduce you to some of the facilities that will be useful for you to get started. Before we begin, I'd like to acknowledge the traditional owners and custodians of this land on which the library stands, the Gadigal people of the Eora Nation. I'd also like to pay our respects to their elders past, present and emerging. You might hear an acknowledgement of country like this said at other classes or functions. We say it because it's a significant and symbolic reconciliation gesture and an important way that the wider community can show respect for Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander people. Fisher Library has nine floors. That can feel a bit overwhelming, but once you get the hang of where things are, it's easy to navigate. When you come in the main entrance at Fisher, you're already on level three. To the right, in the foyer, is the security desk. Campus security are on site 24 hours, helping library staff keep this space secure and safe. You can help them and us by keeping your belongings with you at all times. Also, don't forget, you need to bring your student ID card with you to the library. It allows you to swipe access to the library, check items out and print. You will also see the self-check machines, a bit like the self-checks in a supermarket. And this is where you can check out the items you want to borrow. You can keep most items for nearly a year unless someone else needs to borrow it. If this happens, you'll need to bring it back within seven days. This is called a recall. If you want to find out more about borrowing, come and talk to staff or hop on to live chat. We are always happy to help. When it's time to return your book, use the returns chute at the library exit. Just pop them in and then they are automatically checked off your card. Turning left, we walk down to the information desk. Library staff are here to help with all your queries. And IT staff sit just around to the right. They can help you with syncing your passwords, connecting to Wi-Fi or any printing issue. Just behind the panel is one of the printing areas on level three. Using the printers are a bit like using an Opal card, but you tap with your student ID card. You need to have money in your SIDPAY account to print. That can be added by using the kiosk on the wall at the back of the printing area or by topping up online. When you print a document from your computer, you can collect it from any printer on campus. Just tap your student card and print. Across the floor are PCs, which you log into using your Unikey and password, more printers and bookable desks. These are really handy if you want a guaranteed study space during busy times. These can be booked in advance through the library website. Let's have a look at level four. This area is a silent zone. These areas are marked with the blue signs. They're great for silent study when you need to focus. If you are studying with others or need to talk on your phone, look for an area without these signs so you don't disturb others who are studying. Walking over to the other side of the floor, we come out into the stack. The Fisher General Collection is shelved between levels four to eight and level nine is the East Asian collection. The books are organised using Dewey call numbers. When you look for an item in library search, the record will tell you where the book is available and the call number. Call numbers are like the book's address. When you're looking for a book, the first place to check is the directory near the lift. This will tell you which floor the book is stored. Level two is group study space. There are rooms down here for you to book, just like the booker desks on level three. 
It's important with all shared spaces in the library to wipe them down before use. Follow social distancing guidelines. Downstairs on level one, we walk along the corridor which brings you out into the adjoining law library. You don't need to be a law student to use the library. In fact, all University of Sydney students and staff are welcome to use any of the library spaces across our campuses. I hope you've found this useful. Please remember if you have any questions or need any help with studying, borrowing, where to find things, printing, Wi-Fi, or those million other things you think of, come and talk to us either at the desks or on live chat.